Hey everyone, this is Vanati here with the Agam Embryology webinar series and today we're going to talk about meiosis. So starting off with the definition, meiosis is the cell division that takes place in the germ cell to generate male and female gametes which are the sperm and the ova respectively. Meiosis requires two successive divisions, meiosis 1 and 2, to reduce the number of chromosomes to a haploid number 23. So it's unlike mitosis in which we see each of the two daughter cells receive a complete complement of 46 chromosomes. So the phases of meiosis are prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. And further, prophase has four stages, leptotene, zygotene, pachytene and diplotene. And now we're going to take a closer look into the phases. Pay close attention to the details on the screen. Starting off with the first meiotic division, we are looking at the first stage of the prophase, which is the leptotene stage. In the leptotene stage, chromosomes become visible. Each chromosome consists of two chromatids, which cannot be differentiated at this stage. And then, moving on to the zygotene phase, the two chromosomes are like parallel to each other, forming a bivalent. This pairing is referred to as synapsis or conjugation. And then comes the pachytene stage. The chromatids separate and a tetrad is formed and the central chromatids cross over and this point of adherence is called the chiasma. And in the final stage of the prophase, which is the diplotene stage, the chromatids break at the point of crossing over and attach to the opposite chromatid. The event of crossing over in meiosis is very important as this event lays basis for the fact that daughter cells do not resemble parent cells. Meanwhile, at the same diplotene stage, we can also see the nuclear membrane begin to disappear and the centromere split and move towards different poles of the cell. Then we have the metaphase where there is complete disappearance of the nuclear membrane and spindle formation takes place. Followed by the anaphase where the entire chromosome moves towards the poles. Finally in the telophase, the cells separate and the nuclear membrane reappears, putting an end to the first meiotic division. The first meiotic division is followed by a short interface. This differs from the usual interface as there is no duplication of DNA. Shortly thereafter, the second meiotic division separates the sister chromatids and each gamete contains 23 chromosomes. Now here are a few more points you need to remember about meiosis. Meiosis show reduction division and result in haploid. Meiosis exclusively occurs in germ cells. Crossing over takes place due to which the daughter cells do not resemble the parent cell and hence kids might not exactly resemble their parents.